Good afternoon. So today we are going to see about this uh, uh, problem, one problem that we left in the last class. Okay, so here you take down this problem. Find the bus incidence matrix A for four bus systems shown in the figure. Take ground as a reference. Okay, take this ground as a reference. So you see here, four buses are given. Okay, four buses are given. So we need to for formulate the bus incidence matrix. So four mat uh, four buses are given. So in between that, they are given the kilometers. Say for example, one to two as hundred kilometer, one to three as one ten kilometer, one to four as one fifty kilometer, and two to four as hundred kilometer, and three to four as one twenty kilometer. Okay. So what? They are asking is they are asking to find out the bus incidents incidents matrix bus incidents matrix. So first step, first what is the first step? We need to make the graph. Okay, so whatever the circuit driven. Okay, for bus incident matrix, the first step is uh, we have to construct the graph. So similar to this, what we need to do is we need to construct the graph. So like that, uh, uh, that graph will be fr framed. Okay, graph will be framed. So one connection, so one, uh, two, three, four are joined, one and four join, and one, two, zero is joined, and two, two, zero is joined. So here you see one, two, zero. Say for example, if you take this as reference, okay? So here we, we have taken this as reference point, okay? This point as reference, okay? Take ground as reference. So here, if you take reference, so again, so instead of this one, two, three, four, we have taken again one ground as reference. Okay, so so here you see, so again, uh, yeah, one, two, zero. So one, two, zero, uh, definitely one connection is coming. Okay, one, two, zero, one connection is coming. Three, two, four join, and one more, uh, three, two, four again to the ground. Okay, three, two, four again to the ground. So one two zero and two two zero also to the ground. Two two zero as also to the ground. That is the reference. So like that, we formulated the graph first. Next, what is the next step? Oriented graph. So what is the oriented graph in the sense? We need to formulate the um, yeah direction. Direction. Okay. So direction means, as I said before, so you can uh, take any uh, as a reference. So first thing is that direction should be from the less uh, like one to two, like less uh, node to greater. So one to two, three to four, like that. The direction is okay. So here you see the direction. It is going from one to two, one to four, next to one to three, three to four. Okay, next to two to zero. So for ground itself, uh, we are taking like this two to zero because round itself, so, so whatever the node, that to zero. Okay, so like that. So again, four to zero, three to zero. So there the um, rule is changing. Others means what we need to do. Others we need to start from the, this node to this node, this node to this node, like that. That is less node to greater node. But uh, when, uh, while coming to reference alone, we need to, uh, we, we are taking this from greater to, the reference node. Say for example, whatever the node is starting, say 1 to 0, 2 to 0, 4 to 0, 3 to 0, like that. It is there. This is the oriented graph. Oriented graph has some damage. Next, how to frame the tree? What is the rule to frame the tree in the sense? We should not make the this graph to be closed set. So, so uh, what we need, uh, what we are doing is, so if you take this thing, so if you open this, automatically this will become open. So I am opening this. That is one to two, I am open. Okay. So again, so if this two are there, if you open this, automatically this will become open. So this uh, we are open. So for this uh, particular, uh, okay, particular node, so what we are doing is our mesh, we can take it as mesh. Okay. So here, if you take this mesh, so no closed loop should be framed. So if here, if you open, automatically it will be open circuit. So, so here I am opening. Okay, so opening uh, that uh, I'm mentioning that dotted lens. Okay, so coming to this particular thing. 
if i open this uh, automatically it will not make the uh, closed path so this i am open and coming to this particular uh, okay mesh uh, so if i am opening this uh, automatically this will not may become closed path so here i am open so all this i am open so i frame the tree next uh, while framing the tree we need to give the notations so elements number elements so i am mentioning it as a b c d it is not mandatory right you need you also go with a b c d like that p q r s t u v w x y z like that also you can go for <laughs> but there should be some notation so um, in english alphabets always we start with a a b c d so that's why we are i am taking it as a b c d like that. so your own wish that is user defined your own wish you can do you can take your own but the continuous uh, alphabets means it will be good so so like that uh, I, i have taken a here this as a this as b this is 320 as c this uh, 420 as d okay so here i have taken e f g h okay i so this i have taken as i like that if you want to take x y uh, p q r s t na p q r s yes. okay t okay uh, u v w x yes. like that also you can frame frame with the uh, that particular no no uh, like elements uh, names okay so next step, formation of bus incidents matrix so first how many nodes are there here four nodes are there 1 2 3 4 how many elements are there a b c d up to i is there okay that we are writing a b c d e f g h i now coming to the first node same like we have seen in the previous class first node so which are all uh, first node which are all going outside a is going outside g is going outside e is going outside f is going outside so four so a e f g so all as one which are going outside what this all are zero <laughs> okay next node number 2 which is going outside h is going outside b is going outside okay h is going outside b is going outside what else yeah and e is coming inside so e is coming inside means minus 1 b and h is going outside means 1 rest are all zero next node number 3 node number 3 which are all coming uh, inside um, node number 3 which are all coming inside g is coming inside and c and i is going outside g is coming inside so minus 1 um, g and c is going outside sorry c and i is going outside so c and i i make it as one next fourth node fourth node which are all coming inside h is coming inside which are all going uh, uh, out um, h is coming inside f is coming inside i is also coming inside h um, um i and f okay h i and f so coming inside coming inside mean minus 1 g d is going outside d is going outside so one rest are all g okay so easily we frame the bus incidents matrix so this is how we need to frame the incidents matrix 